Episode 8, Retake Toad Town Luigi stood, gazing out at the large group of enemies assembled before him in the shadow of Peach's castle. There were around 100 Koopa Troop members, all glaring fiercely at the assembly of toads in the town square, plus Luigi and Cobal. In the very front of the opposing group was a person Luigi had not seen for a long, long time, boom boom. The burly Koopa looked exactly how Luigi remembered him. Although perhaps he had gained a bit of weight. Boom Boom's round face had a look of extreme annoyance plastered all over it as he crossed his muscular arms and glared heavily in Luigi's direction. All right, enough of this racket. He grumbled at Luigi. I don't know what you're doing, but somehow I don't think Emperor Bowser would approve of it. Look, you're even defacing his statue. Mail Toad who was holding the pickaxe sometimes carried by Bank Toad and preparing to bring it down upon the stone statue, dropped it and looked around awkwardly. You know, I was really looking forward to having a nice long bath today. Boom Boom continued complaining, pacing back and forth before his forces. But then you bunch of nitwits had to come along and ruin it. Just make it easy for us and go back to your homes, okay? The toads mumbled among themselves. While in Luigi's eyes the opposing side was composed of standard level goons, none of which seemed to pose a huge threat, he had forgotten how terrifying the Koopa forces must seem to the ordinary people of Toad Town. This is my chance. Luigi thought to himself as he stared at the burly, domineering figure of Boom Boom. I need to be a strong leader. Just like my bro was. Then I can get the people of Mushroom City to believe in me, and in themselves, too. The younger brother took a deep breath and took a few steps forward, never breaking eye contact with Boom Boom. The large Koopa raised his eyebrow as Luigi as the moustached man fixed his face into a defiant stare. He forced himself to banish all of his fears and unconfidence. This was nothing. He could have taken twice this number back in his day even without Mario's help. Boom boom, we re tired of living under your fist. Luigi cried, his accented voice ringing throughout the town square. This is the capital of the Mushroom Kingdom, not your playground, and these people don't deserve to be pushed around by you and your thugs. Luigi thought he detected a flicker of unease of Boom Boom's lazy overconfident face, but the muscular Koopa tried not to show it. Mushroom Kingdom. He snorted defiantly. Please. The Mushroom Kingdom died ages ago. Now it's just a part of Sector 8 of the Koopa Empire. Oh yeah? Luigi asked, stretching out his arms to relax his muscles. He hadn't done anything this crazy since the last time he and his bro had gone through Bowser's castle but there was no time to be cautious now, no matter how much he wanted to. We'll see about that. He cried, thrusting his fist in the direction of Boom Boom. It's, go time. Then, throwing away his insecurities as if he was simply casting off his own cap, Luigi rushed towards Boom Boom. His feet glided over the brown cobblestone pavement, barely touching the ground as he approached his enemy. Boom Boom's eyes widened and his face dissolved completely into shock. In panic, he swung his meaty fist at Luigi, but without even needing to think, Luigi slid underneath it before leaping up and punching the muscular Koopa right in the face. Boom Boom groaned in pain and took a few steps back. Restrain the rebels! A blue-colored boomerang bro ordered quickly. Boom Boom shook himself, before charging at Luigi. With a wild yell, the minions behind him rushed forward. Luigi braced himself. Boom Boom's fist was coming closer. Closer. Luigi leaped over it, right onto Boom Boom's head. He vaulted off it as the burly Koopa cried out, landing on top of a Koopa. With a mighty kick, Luigi sent the shell rocketing through the ranks, toppling Koopas and Goombas like dominoes. Out of the corner of his eye he saw a hammer bro coming up behind him. Expertly, 
he swung around, catching the Thakupa in the jaw and sending him hurtling back. Is it just me, or are these guys weaker than I remember them? Luigi thought as he leaped into the air again, bouncing off a Goomba and ducking mid-air to avoid a hammer hurled by another hammer bro. They must not get so much practice way out here. He came down on a shy guy, smashing the robed minion to the ground, before spinning around and punching a green-shelled Koopa in the face. Minions were surging around him, and he heard the angry roar of Boom Boom approaching. But surprisingly, Luigi wasn't worried in the slightest. He had this covered. There was no way he couldn't do this. Thank you, Mario. He thought to himself, a smile growing on his face as he leaped onto a Goomba, remembering the happy-go-lucky confidence his brother had when fighting his foes. It was as if his brother's spirit was guiding his steps, helping him drive out the invaders just as he himself would have done. Cobal watched in a sense of stunned awe and amazement as Luigi cut through the ranks of Boom Boom's garrison as if they were little more than blades of grass. To think that that depressed-looking human in green he had always ignored could turn out to be such a legendary warrior. And Mario's brother, no less. It really was weird how life worked, wasn't it? There was, however, no time to simply muse on the subject. Nearly half of the Koopa Troop squad was charging into the square towards them. And Luigi was already preoccupied. The toads screamed as the Koopas poured in, many of them pushing and shoving each other in an attempt to get as far away from the enemy as possible. Come on, Cobal. He hissed to himself. This is no time to chicken out. You're going to do what you've always dreamed of doing, remember? Gritting his teeth, Cobal charged towards the approaching minions. He was aware of the toads watching him, wide-eyed, no doubt surprised to see someone other than Luigi putting up resistance. Cobal had always been the kind of guy who acted on impulse. He had never really thought things through. Hence the trouble he had gotten into with the henchmen near the castle. It took every inch of will he had not to simply swing a sloppy punch at the blue-robed shy guy closest to him. Instead, he forced himself to jump, rapidly calling to mind the techniques Luigi had taught him. He focused all of his power into his legs, and leapt to the astonishment of his foe. A second later, Cobal came down upon him, knocking the masked minion out old. Cobal bounced off the shy guy's head leaping onto a Koopa before leaping off the downed reptile onto the head of a Goomba. It was amazing how easy this was. Did the Koopa troops just suck, or were the Mario brothers just that good? Mid-air, he saw a muscular sledge bro aim one of his mallets at him and hurl it with all his strength. That didn't look very good. One hit of those things and he'd be out cold. It was spinning right towards him on a collision course with his head. Cobal opened his mouth and extended his super long tongue. He felt an uncomfortable sensation as the heavy weapon went down his throat, only to come out as a blue-spotted egg. Taking advantage of his momentum, Cobal drove himself into a fall, aiming his fist as the sledge bro's face before he could throw another hammer. There was a crash as his hand hit the Koopa's yellow, scaly face knocking him back several feet and causing him to collapse on an unlikely duo of Goombas. Were rallying around, Cobal hurled the egg at a Paragoomba who looked like he was getting ready to go into a dive bomb. Pausing momentarily, Cobal looked at his hand. He had never thrown an egg before. How was it that he was so good? Was being a crack shot just built into a Yoshi's DNA or something? Hey, loser! came a familiar voice. Cobal spun around. He was unsurprised to see the duo of Koopas and their charge in Chuck friend who had attacked him yesterday, grinning at him with greedy expressions. You don't make fun of us Koopas, you Dino Punk! The Koopa on the left giggled. He cracked his knuckles. We're gonna make you pay for making us look bad in front of our pals. Yeah. The charge in Chuck agreed. While Green Statch is up there getting wrecked by Captain Boom Boom, 
we're going to smash you into bits. Really? Cobal smirked, sizing them up. He had been caught off guard last time. And besides, now he had Luigi's training, even though he had only had a day of it so hadn't had much time to practice. I'd like to see you try. He shouted, extending his tongue and slurping up the Koopa who had spoken. The Koopa gave a yelp of horror and retreated into his shell to protect himself. Without wasting any time, Cobalt spit the shell back out, right at the charge in Chuck's head. It hit dead center. The large Koopa fell down hard and lay motionless. With a scream, the remaining Koopa turned and bolted. Come on, everyone! came the determined voice of the pink-capped female Toad who seemed to be friends with Toad Bert. We can't let them think we're afraid of them. Charge! There was a wild chorus of multiple high-pitched screams so loud it nearly destroyed Cobal's eardrums as the Toads surged forward. While they had no fighting skill whatsoever, the huge mass of mushroom people worked as a battering ram, crashing into the foremost Koopas and knocking them over. All right! Cobal shouted as he leaped back into the air, slurping up a Goomba and transforming him into an egg to hurl directly at a hammer bro. Let's get this party started! Luigi spun around and kicked a Goomba in the face as he would a soccer ball. The Goomba went soaring through the air until he crashed into the side of a toad house, completely conciseness. All of Toad Town was alive with noise as the Toads and Koopas battled it out in the town square. He glimpsed Cobal leap onto a red-shelled Koopa, knocking it down before kicking its shell at a gang of shy guys. His form was quite good, Luigi reflected not perfect, certainly, but still quite impressive. He estimated roughly that more than half of the Koopas had been defeated by now. Hey, don't you forget about me yet, you show off. Luigi heard a rough-sounding voice coming for him. Boom boom. His face bruised, ran towards Luigi at full speed, smacking an unlucky Koopa Troopa away from him. He went into a spin, whirling towards Luigi like a massive top and churning dust up from the ground like a cloud around him. Eat this, you moron! He yelled as his body spun rapidly around in circles, coming towards Luigi with every once of speed in his body. This is all I need to finish this. Luigi thought to himself, watching the yellow blur of motion rocket towards him. Beat Boom Boom, and his minions will start to freak out. We're going to do this. Luigi leaped into the air as Boom Boom came towards him, his arms slicing the air like propellers. He angled his fall precisely towards the center of the blur. It was a perfect hit. Luigi's heavy worker's boots smashed into Boom Boom's head, causing him to stop spinning immediately. The burly Koopa groaned disorientedly, before falling with a crash that likely damaged the bricks underneath. Luigi landed lightly beside him. Boom Boom's down! A Goomba exclaimed, panic-stricken. Things ain't looking good, boys! A green paratrooper remarked cynically, crossing his arms as he observed the battlefield. An egg whizzed through the air catching him in the chest as knocking him out of the sky. Yeah, you're right about one thing, buddy. Cobal remarked as he flutter jumped over, kicking a shy guy down as he landed. Things sure aren't looking good for you. The angry sounds of the toads grew louder as they stormed up the road, chasing the remaining Koopa troops, who ran in front of them with frightened expressions. Tie em up, everybody. Male Toad exclaimed joyfully. We've had enough of this empire. Luigi paused to catch his breath, as the Toads pushed past him, continuing their pursuit. When they had gone, he looked around the town. Any member of Bowser's army that he could see was either knocked out or restrained in some way. Did we really just do it? He remarked in wonder, thinking back to all those years he had left the town in Koopa oppression. He had been so caught up in his brother's death and the completeness of the Mushroom Kingdom's defeat that he had never really stopped to consider how easy it might be to defeat the garrison at Toad Town. 
as the sounds of the shouting toads faded back until they weren't so overwhelming, Luigi stood alone in the center of the road, staring at the Bowser statue which still stood in the town square. Although likely for not much longer. A smile slowly formed on his face. Yes. He had just remembered what day it was. If his brother had still been alive, this would be his anniversary. Mario. He said aloud, closing his watery eyes. I hope. I hope you're proud of your little brother. Turned around to look at the castle. Despite the Koopa Empire flags, the Koopa forces had never gotten around to removing the stained glass window of Princess Peach. The sun was shining down upon it, making it sparkle. There was not even the slightest breeze, leaving the black flags lifeless, unable to display the face of the Emperor. The sight seemed almost like a sign to Luigi. Maybe. Just maybe. Things would work out, after all. Kicking away the rotten fence of a long-abandoned toad house, Captain Blue Shell, his mind full of nothing but curses wished upon the incompetent Boom Boom, stumbled out of the toad town grounds. Pausing a minute to catch his breath, he continued running, aiming to put as much distance between the town and him as possible. He could still hear those accursed toads making a racket. As he continued running through the bright green grass of the mushroom plains, he scowled wishing with all his heart that he could fix his past mistakes. He should have defied orders and reported Luigi's existence years ago. If he had done that, the ex-plumber would be locked up in the Emperor's Shell Penitentiary and would eventually be forgotten by all the people just like the rest of Mario's allies. He had been a fool. But he had had enough of that. The nearest town was Koopa Village, he'd be able to get transport there which would take him to Mushroom City. Then, since the slackers at Peach's castle probably wouldn't have the sense to call for help, especially with their captain down, he'd inform the Mushroom Kingdom's governor, General Flame, about the problem. Luigi and anybody who was foolish enough to stand by him were going to have the full might of the Koopa Empire descend upon them. And that would bring a much-needed end to the legacy of the Mario Bros. You're going to regret this, Luigi. Blue Shell thought to himself as he continued to run further and further from the town. Mark my words. The Koopa Empire will not be mocked like this.